What's up guys, GH here and welcome back to another tree of savior video and for this one we're going to check out another build which consists of Rangda, Sheriff, and Linker. So what we're gonna do is showcase each classes, what they can do, mainly the important skills and tell you guys why each of these classes are here in this build, then the good and the bad, and with that said, let's do this. Okay, here's the classes. There's Rangda, Linker, and Sheriff. And as usual, we're gonna be testing it out in the fields to show you guys what this build is all about. Let's start. First off is Rangda. This is the newest class in the Scout Class 3. And it's a debuffer support class with decent AoE. And the reason we took Rangda is of course to test it out. Mainly to see if this class is worth it. And this is not the main class of this build. Rangda is something that you will take if you want to maximize your crit rate or inflict a few more debuffs. If you have any need for more debuffs. Like for example, you have Corrupt Set or you just want to reduce the crit resist of enemies because you probably noticed the insane crit resistance of enemies in the new maps and instances. So yeah, Rangda skills is mostly debuffs. And those are... First off, Rawa. This skill is an AoE debuff that deals damage every time it hits. And it generates one stack of Rawa debuff that increases damage received by 1% and decreases mobile speed by 2. The maximum stack that you will usually get is about 14 stacks, so that's about 14% damage and negative 28% movement speed. The damage is decent and it works with the next debuff skill, which is Keletihan. It's a debuff that reduces accuracy, evasion, and more importantly, crit resistance. And it stacks up. One stack reduces 100 crit resistance and you can use Kelitihan two times, so that's two stacks. And if you want more, that's where Rawa comes in because if you have the attribute Rawa Fatigue Boost, every three seconds it will add one stack of Kelitihan debuff if the enemy is stepping on Rawa, like this. It's gonna give about two stacks of Kelitihan debuff. If you combine all of that, it should be four stacks of Kelitihan debuff which reduces 400 crit resistance. But wait, there's more. We got another skill called Penyarapan, which increases your dark property damage, but it also gives one stack of Kelitihan debuff if you use it near the enemy. So combining all that, it's 5 stacks, which reduces 500 crit resistance, and that right there usually take care of most enemies' crit resist. Your next route there is increasing your crit rate. And you do that. Get about 2k, it's easy nowadays to get that. We're not done yet with Peña Rapan. Because this skill has an art that gives it a new functionality. The art is called Energy Drain. So what it does is heals you the more debuffs the enemy has. And since you inflict so many debuffs, it should be easy to fulfill the requirements. The problem is when you have this art turned on, it will not add an additional Kelly hand stack. For me, it's okay. Negative 400 crit assist is plenty already. Plus, I solo a lot and another way to heal is very welcome. Now, let's move on to the offensive skills of Prangda. First, we're gonna cover is Luka. This is an AoE attack that deals damage over time. It's a dock that lasts 10 seconds and the duration increases the more debuffs the enemy has. You can call this the main Rangda offensive skill since it deals a good amount of damage and for obvious reasons, this is best used after you unleashed all of your debuffs. Next skill is Kotokan. To put it simply, it's a debuff that turns enemies into a Kepa. And while the enemy is a Kepa, enemies around the Kepa receive damage every fraction of a second and it lasts 4 seconds. This skill doesn't work against bosses, but the damage is decent enough and I find it very good in combination with Linker's joint penalty. Well, most AoE skills are good with joint penalty, we'll touch on that in a bit. Okay, that's most of the Rangda skills, but since there's only one left, one Rangda skill left, might as well. So the last Rangda skill is called Barong. It's a summon that pops behind your enemy and it eats buffs. You won't really use this as much and the cooldown is terrible for what it can do, so yeah. And that's Rangda, the new class for the scout class 3. It's not that bad, it's not that great, but 
not terrible either. This is the class you pick because you wanna give your existing build a bit of debuffing capability that should increase your class selection's overall damage output. And yeah, I almost forgot, you can use either dagger or pistol with this one. Okay, moving on. Next class is Linker. And as most of you know, this class is the class that you pick if you wanna strengthen your AoE damage. But with the recent update adding the arts, people also pick this because they wanna increase their single target DPS. So now taking this class increase your damage overall. <laughs> and that's the reason we took this. And also, if you haven't noticed, the new monsters in the new maps are frigging tough. And having a linker in your build makes it a tad bit easier because of its signature skill. Joint Penalty Now Joint Penalty is a skill that links multiple targets so that they share damage received. This is one of the best skill in game because this increases your AoE attack damage by a lot if done properly. And as I've said, in this build, I usually use this in combination with Kotokan. Because Kutukan has the highest skill factor on Rangda's AoE arsenal and it's usually what I need to eliminate a bunch of enemies quickly because joint penalty don't last that long and the number of hits is limited. And as most of you new players have noticed, I'm using another skill after joint penalty and it's called Hangman's Knot. And what it does is gather up all the link enemies in front of you so you can easily hit them. A pretty useful skill. Last skill we're gonna cover for Linker is Electric Shock. This is your only offensive skill and what it does is connect you to your single target to inflict damage over time. This is very good in combination with Chain Heart. Okay, that's Linker. Pretty much same old same old. Nothing much changed although I think they changed Joint Penalty by a bit. Anyway, let's go to the last class in this build. Sheriff. Now, Sheriff is a pistol building class that specializes in single target damage and we took this class because last time I checked, Sheriff is pretty good as a main class but looking at it right now, the changes to this makes me put this class as a subclass. To me, it's no longer a worthy class to make builds on. In spite of all that, it can still function as a decent main class, I guess. Even with the changes to its skills. And yeah, I also took this because I thought Rangda's fatigue and Sheriff's fatigue debuff is the same, but it's not. It doesn't work together. It doesn't increase the damage of Sheriff's skills. Anyway, here are the Sheriff's skills. Let's start with the most useful skill that it used to have, <laughs> which is Fanning. This used to be very good for single target. But now, it isn't. It's just another skill. They changed the skill factor to a point wherein it doesn't deal as much damage as it used to. But it's still usable, but it's not as good as before. Next skill is Peacemaker. This is the skill that you always must open up with before using other Sheriff skills. Because Peacemaker inflicts fatigue that increases the damage of Sheriff skills. And yeah, as I've said, it doesn't work with Rangda's Fatigue. It's different. Next skill is Aiming Shot. This is your strongest skill. Ignore the skill factor. Use this immediately right after Peacemaker. Make sure to charge it up to maximize the damage. This is really good when it crits. Last skill we're gonna mention is West Braid. Normally, it gives you accurate attacks. But the reason we're taking this is because this has an art that changes how it works. When you have the art, it doubles your crit rate for 30 seconds and the crit rate decreases over time. So make sure to dish out everything you got when using this. Doubling your crit rate is very nice. This art actually makes Sheriff a decent class. And that Sheriff nerf but still usable. And that's the class build. A pretty decent build overall, good AoE with some awesome debuffs. Now, let's go on to the good and the bad. Let's start with the bad. I can say this right now, it's mediocre in mobbing and single target. The immediate remedy to this is removing one class and add what you think is the best scout class. 
Next disadvantage is you're not really particularly good in something, so you don't shine in anything. And yeah, you're good at debuffing, but no one really wants a debuffer, except the smart ones, which is a rare find nowadays. And to be honest, even me, I don't want debuffers <laughs> in my team. I rather want you to be a hard hitter or a healer. Even though I know Rangda fatigue debuffs are really helpful, I know it's stupid, but people value overall damage over anything. Okay, I think that's enough of the bad. Now for the good stuff. First thing that comes into mind is Linker's Joint Penalty. It's much more valuable now than ever because look at the high level mobs. They are super tough. If you're a whale, we know you're strong. You can one hit mobs, but for the most of us, it's tough. And we need joint penalty. Another thing is Linker and Rangda works really well together. Both give you the ability to self-sustain. And what I mean is you can heal yourself. I'm talking about energy drain and chain heart. Both of those art can help you heal up. Another advantage is the amount of debuffs you can generate. And if you're using Corrupt Legendary set, you're gonna make the most out of it. Because Corrupt set, the skill, it increases the damage dealt the more debuff the enemy has. Which is great for a DPS build. All in all, this build is decent and excellent as a debuffer support. But if I were to do this build, I probably would remove Sheriff and add Assassin or Bullet Marker, but that's just me. And that's it guys, that's Rangda, Linker, and Sheriff. What do you think of this build? Is it a go or a no? <laughs> Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, hit the like button, share, and subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Andre of Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.